The following podcast is non-profit and is based on the IGCSE history curriculum. Hello, I've just finished my last exam yesterday, so I have a few days where I have nothing to do, but I can record a few more podcasts which will be releasing in the upcoming weeks. This episode will be about 1968 events in Czechoslovakia. In 1968, the people in Czechoslovakia began criticising their communist leadership of their country. They were unhappy because their economy was not doing well, and there was a poorer standard of living compared to countries in Western Europe, where people's wages were much higher. The key people involved were the new leader of Czechoslovakia, and Alexander Dubček, and Brezhnev, the new leader of the USSR. During their protests, protesters demanded for freedom of speech and freedom of the press, and to have the ability to set up new political parties. The USSR invaded because they were very concerned about their reforms. Firstly, they were worried that the ideas would spread through Eastern Europe. Also, Czechoslovakia was a very important industrial area and an important trading partner of Comcon and member of the Warsaw Pact. Finally, Eastern European countries were worried that Czechoslovakia might become allied with the USA and Western Europe. Other members of the Warsaw Pact got involved in invading Czechoslovakia, including East Germany, Poland, Hungary, and Bulgaria. When the USSR invaded, the Czechs did not resist the invasion, but carried out some peaceful protests. As a result of the invasion, Western countries criticised the actions of the USSR, and so did some communist Eastern European countries. Now, I will go through the consequences for Czechoslovakia and the USSR. Firstly, for the Czechs, there were no violent clashes, although 79 people died during the invasion. Overall, during the situation, a total of 137 civilians were killed, with 500 seriously wounded. Secondly, Soviet forces threw out reformers out of the Communist Party, but they were not imprisoned or executed. As a result, the new pro-Soviet leader, Husak, reversed all the reforms. Finally, Brezhnev announced that the Soviet Union would not allow any communist country in Eastern Europe to abandon communism. There were also consequences for the USSR, however. The main consequence was that they were criticised by China, another communist country in Asia, and their relationship with China quickly deteriorated after the invasion, as China criticised the USSR for how they treated Eastern European countries so harshly. This is the end of the podcast. Thank you for listening.